Welcome back to Alone With You. Let's go sync our findings with the AI core, and then after that, I think we're gonna have a chat with Pierre Tone in the Hollow Sim Chamber. Okay, all the data you collected today is synced and ready to be worked on. You did well out there. Since you went to Colony B, you'll be able to visit Mr. Tong in the Holosim Chamber tonight. Ah, you're back. I assume that means you headed back to Colony B. AF4B slash 3B said, well, it mentioned the medical wing. How did that go? It was rough. I, I can remember it being heavily compromised at one point. I'm thankful I couldn't have been, um, I'm thankful I couldn't have been there myself. Listen, I can tell that the AI is having a very hard time with this. With seeing Colony B again, I mean. It may not realize it, but after the Rift event, well, a lot of the colonists began to resent it. I must confess, I don't really understand why. The Rift event stranded us. It wasn't the AI's fault, but for some reason I remember the people who were left getting more and more angry. The medical center you saw today I think it did something to AF4B slash 3B. It seems different now. I can certainly understand. I watched a lot of good people succumb to terrible diseases and the stress of everything that was happening around us. What about you? Me? Well, health-wise, I wasn't one of the worst cases. I was too busy to check myself in too much. Especially after the Rift event. Things were hectic. On one hand, we were lucky. So much of the medical equipment Hudson and Cartier equipped us with could be used without a technician. When our staff became compromised, we at least could get basic procedures done automatically. It kept everyone in decent shape for a good long while. But eventually, things had to be calibrated or maintained, and we kept up losing the people who were best suited to do those things. And what's worse, Automated equipment can't help with the mental stresses that's affected everyone. Only humans could. And we were all at the end of our rope, you know? I think all of us were affected. Mentally and physically. I don't like to admit it, but I was no different. Honestly, it was just so difficult to see people like that as Colony B started to degrade. Medical records. Oh, I see. So it looks like you did some digging of your own while you were out there. I... Where did you get this? These were supposed to be confidential. Well, I found them inside of gigantic ice cream sandwiches. Look, I know what you're thinking. What the report says is true. I did work too much. I had to. I was the director. I had an entire facility depending on me, you know? And the pills? The painkillers? Well, yeah, if I'm being honest. For a while, they were a problem. But only for a while. As it says in the report, Jean brought me in at one point. He was worried about me. He was always worried about me. I was, I was exhausted, and it was affecting me. I was losing weight, unable to sleep. I think that's when Jean and I started to argue a lot. We were very close, you understand. We really helped each other see the flip side of the colony's operation. But we could butt heads. A lot. After he checked me in, I got those painkillers. I convinced the doctors I need them. And for a while, they dulled some of what was going on. 
Eventually, though, it was a problem. Jean and I continued to argue whenever we met. Maybe they were partly the reason we had such a falling out. But after he left to go off somewhere, I got off those damn things. Things were getting worse, and I knew I had to get everyone else through the mess. I don't remember much after that. I must have left too, but I don't know why or to where. But please, believe me, I'm not that man anymore. Hell, I'm not a man of any kind, really, but you know what I mean. Honestly? Oh, that's the same thing I said before. Show them the schematics. Oh, well, look at these. You found some schematics drawings, didn't you? Schematics drawings. Schematics drawings. That doesn't sound right to me, but I don't know, maybe it is. These look just like the ones you found before. It appears I was indeed busy trying to come up with something. These are unfinished, but they're concepts for how to increase the speed of the escape ship by modifying the thrusters. I can work with these. Complete these notes, and talk to AF4B slash 3B so it knows what to do. This will go a long way to improve your escape ship. Thank you, Nella. It really helps. You know, to see that I was still trying, in some way, at least. Well, seems like you're really getting the inside scoop on everyone went through. But you've got your own trial, so let's talk about you. What would you say is what you worry about the most? Losing your mind, or your body? My body. I imagine you'd have a difficult time playing music since you love it so much. And, well, that'd be very difficult indeed. Wait, what? I imagine you'd have a difficult time playing music and since you love it so much, well, that would be very difficult indeed. What? I mean, I know I s earlier said that I enjoyed music, but... What? I don't really understand what they're getting at. If I die, I won't be able to listen to music anymore? I mean, that's true, but that's kind of far down on the list of things I'm worried about. The reason I ask is, I've been talking so much about the stresses of what happened to us, but you've got your own problems now. And it's really important that you don't ignore how stressful it is. Don't just try to bottle that up and expect to make it out okay. We're all just working away on getting your ship ready, but staying focused is really important. So if you need to talk about anything, I'm here, okay? Thanks, Pierre. No need to thank me, Nella. Just come to me if you need to. That's all I ask. Well, I think we've probably used up enough of the colony's power for tonight, haven't we? It really has been great seeing you again. Please remember what I said. I'll be thinking about you while I work in here on the ship's thrusters. See you next time, Nella. And please, keep an eye out for anything that might help me understand what happened. I'm curious what's going to happen now. We've kind of explored each location. I mean, we've explored each location and explored each, like, location's sub-location. Are there going to be more sub-locations? It definitely doesn't feel like we're, like, right at the end, you know, about to try to launch the shuttle or anything. Still feels like we've got a while to go. Nella, did you hear the storm again last night? I sure did. That must have made it difficult to sleep. In any case, the storm appears to be coming back around at regular intervals. We are likely to experience it again in another five days or so. Come and see me in the core as soon as you can. Well, I have some good news and some bad news. Which would you like to hear? Give me the bad news first. You were always so practical. The bad news is, this recurring storm may take our eventual may make our eventual escape difficult. 
However, I crunched some numbers last night, and I think it's time for some drastic steps. I want you to go to the terraforming fields today. I don't think you've ever been there before. Oh, right! The location that I've literally never been to before. So that's the terraforming fields. It's the installation that controls the ground and orbital terraforming units, and as of now, it's still operational. But, I think it's time to shut it down. The atmosphere is very... Atmosphere is very unstable, and the terraforming is only making it worse at this point. So, when you're ready, please head to the shuttle bay and plot a course to the terraforming fields. Wait, why haven't we shut it down until now? Like, wouldn't it just be sucking up power, or... Wasting power if it's totally pointless? Are you sure? I'm afraid so. Don't worry, I'll be with you every step of the way. Okay. Wait, that's not the terraforming fields? Oh, oh, that's the terraforming fields, whoops. I thought this was the place I've never been to, I guess it's this place. Maybe the journey there has been deemed too dangerous, and that's why we've never gone there before. They did say this was a drastic step. Looks like the terraforming installation is still operating. It's a shame we need to shut it down. You can't see them through the clouds, but a series of high-powered nodes continuously orbit the planet, changing the atmosphere from above. While at the same time, this installation works on the ground and helps us to monitor progress and make adjustments. It's the most advanced system of its kind in Hudson Cartier's network, but we have to do what we came here to do. Head inside and look for the terminals you need to shut down. I'll guide you. I mean, is it the case that if we left this thing running, this planet would eventually become habitable, even if there was no one here to make use of it? Seems unlikely. There must have been other work we needed to do, right? Maybe not. Also, I just realized you can see, like, uh, raindrops, um, like, bouncing off of the helmet of the person. Pretty cool. All right, shut this thing down. According to work logs, the last crew team to be there consisted of Superintendent Ryan Payton and Engineer David Affen. That's interesting. My records show that even though they were stationed here together frequently, they rarely got along. I have a whole directory of complaints and incident reports. In any case, be careful in there. It looks like that installation was compromised. I'm reading nasty particulates in the air. Guidance room. Service control room. And that's it. That room contains the guidance equipment, which allowed the crew to manipulate the terraforming nodes orbiting the planet. We'll need to shut this down, I'm afraid. Turn it off. Ooh, there's the two people. That room contains the environmental equipment, which is how the crew kept track of terraforming progress on and beneath the surface. The equipment controls those huge cylinders you may have seen outside the installation. We'll have to shut this down. Ryan Payton. A scan reveals that he died from inhaling something poisonous. His lungs were affected by whatever toxins are in the air, likely a substance from the dangerous atmosphere outside. The limp corpse of terraforming engineer David Affen. His remains appear very withered. From the scan, I can make out that his vascular system was attacked by some kind of foreign body.
Turn it off. Okay, well, that's that. The terraforming engine has been shut down. The orbiting nodes will cease firing, and that station will quiet down. This is not an ideal scenario, but it's the best we can manage. Good work. You can come home when you're ready. I'm glad we got that over with. I'll be monitoring the atmospheric conditions constantly and we'll keep you updated. Please come see me. Okay, with that out of the way, we can get back to finding what we need for the escape ship. But today... We shouldn't head out anymore, with the weather being what it is, and I think you need a bit of a break. So I've prepared another special simulation for you in the holosim chamber. Oh, I do hope you like it. This one took quite a while to put together. I'll call on you tonight when the simulation is good to go. With whom would you like to spend time in the holosim chamber tonight? Well, so I could just pick a favorite and just keep spending time with the same person. <laughs> Uh Hmm, well, I've already spent some time with Winnie. Hmm. What were the other ones again? Let's spend some time with Leslie. The storm outside appears to have subsided somewhat, so I hope the holosim chamber will be stable. I really think you're going to like this simulation. It's very majestic. Oh wow, do you see this? This is simply amazing. Just beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. I had to check into the simulation. Apparently those clouds are called lenticular clouds. Did you know that already? No, sorry. Don't be sorry. I didn't know about them either. You don't see things like this on a farm after all. I love the clouds' weird shape the most. They look like someone made them by hand, like clay pots. Apparently, they're formed when air moves over a place like these mountains and condenses in a spot. It's like somebody blowing smoke rings, except the rings don't disappear. So, apparently there's one thing lenticular clouds do that other clouds don't do. Let's see if you know what it is. Do they change color, stay in place, or make strange sounds? Hmm. Something they do that other clouds don't. I 
I have no idea. I don't see why they change color, I don't see why they would stay still, and I also don't see why they would make strange sounds. Stay still? Good job! That's right. Because- oh, I got an achievement. Sweet! <laughs> the achievement is called Science Nerd. Yeah. Because of how they're formed, they don't move along the sky like other clouds do. I totally knew that. You know, when I was a kid, I always loved quizzes, but wasn't very good at them. I was bad at studying too, come to think of it. Anyway, you had to shut down the terraforming engine today, didn't you? The very core of this installation. What did you think of that? I'm worried. I would be too, to be honest. But it sounds like it was the only option. The AI knows what it's doing. Just think. You'll be able to see beautiful views like this for real again. Once you get back home. I was wondering though. Do you ever wish you had stayed back on Earth? Instead of coming here? Never. That's very positive. I'm impressed. You have such an ability to keep looking forward. It's probably served you well. I know I keep bringing it up, but even now, all I can think about is that little farm back home and seeing green again. Because of how difficult it was to manage things here, and with all the people issues, I, even now, I think mostly of being by myself. That's not fair, of course. I'm here to help you, I just... I just miss my old life, I guess. Does that make me selfish? No. Thanks. Thanks for saying so. Anyway, we both know the issues I've had with personnel at the Agrodomes. The interpersonal problems. You never worked for me, so I know you weren't assigned to my team. You must have worked somewhere else in the installation. That's not really important now, I realize, but I am curious about one thing. What was your specialty before you came here, to this colony? What were you, back on Earth? Well, I got the science nerd achievement, so I was a scientist. Hudson Carter employed so many top scientists. You must have been the best in your field to get their attention. Anyway, look. Wow, just look at this. I can't get over how wonderful these clouds are, and how grand this view is. Imagine having a little shelter up here, on a mountain like this, and getting to visit whatever, whenever you liked. It makes all our problems seem so small, and so far away. Say, Nella, this might not be the best time, but since we're up here, I was thinking. You know, I really wish we could have known each other before all this. Maybe we could have seen sights like this together. Do you ever feel that way? I get... <laughs> this is the second time I've had one of these uh, meetings with these people. Like, a special kind of one-on-one -on -one meeting that isn't the normal kind of uh, shop talk thing or whatever you want to say. And I get the feeling that every time... I'm, like... They always want to date me or something? I mean, maybe she's just talking about being friends, I'm not sure, but I really don't get that impression. And Winnie gave me the same impression last time. I wonder if everyone's gonna do that. Is that what they're, like, designed to be? Are they designed to be, pick who you want to spend the most time with and... You can sort of date them <laughs> in the holosim chamber? <laughs> You know, like, what if you visit them twice? Like, what if I visited Winnie twice? I don't know, it feels strange. Uh, yes, I do. <coughs> That's fantastic to hear. I'm so glad we got to spend more time together this week and see this beautiful vista. I've been thinking about you a lot. Well, unfortunately we can't stay here forever as much as I'd like to. You should probably get going. Stay safe out there, Nella. I hope we get another chance to do this again soon.
man, one thing I'm really disappointed in about that scene is they kept talking about like the AI and uh, and oh my god, I just forgot her name, Leslie. The AI said, you know, I've really prepared you something majestic and amazing, and then Leslie says, look at how beautiful it is, but the game never really showed us how beautiful it was. You know, we saw just like a tiny bit in the background, and at the very end there was sort of like a scroll up where you could kind of see it a little bit, but I wanted to see more of it because I didn't get the feeling that it was majestic. I can imagine it was majestic. Some like high point up on a mountain with just nothing but these beautiful clouds and mountains as far as the eye can see from this awesome vantage point. It sounds cool, but I didn't see it. Good morning, Nella. Did you enjoy your time in the mountains last night? Absolutely. It's fantastic to hear. It was no small trick to find that simulation and get it up and running. Well, our time is getting more and more precious. Please come see me in the core as soon as possible. Since you shut down the terraforming fields yesterday, I've already read changes to the atmosphere. I think it's working, but I still think time is against us, so here are the tasks we need to accomplish now. Since Tower E was destroyed, we only have one area left in the comms relay. It's Hub Tower. I'd like you to investigate it. Oh, okay, so it sounds like there are going to be more extra areas in each of the main areas. And since our efforts to collect fuel at the cave's refinery were unsuccessful, I'll have to head to the research lab. Okay, so it's going to be the same thing, where there's like one extra little place in all the places, right? Agrodomes, mm-hmm. Okay, what about Colony B, though? You only mentioned three places. What about the fourth place? Oh, well, listen, I'd just rather we not go back there. I mean, if we don't need to. Just please, for now, let's just focus on the comms relay, the agrodomes, and the caves. Ooh. The AI really was, I guess, traumatized? If that's the right word? Traumatized by what we saw in there. Really, it's just better if you get moving. Head to the shuttle bay. Let's go to the comm relay station first. After our little adventure with the signal tower, I discovered that there was a faint transmission coming from the central hub of the relay. The hub was badly damaged during the rift event, so I didn't think we should risk coming here, but Miss Laurier convinced me to change my mind. She told me of her idea to patch together another way to send out a broadcast. After finding this transmission, I thought we should at least try it. So I'd like you to check inside for the source of the signal and see if it will help us get our distress message out. Okay, well I think I'm going to save the exploration of the comms relay for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.